Hi, I'm Amy Porter. Some of you know me as a flutist and a classical musician, others as a professor, and some of you know me as a publisher and arranger. I'm a stepmom, I'm a business owner, and I'm the founder of a couple of nonprofits. And this is my podcast. My core mission as an entrepreneur is to appreciate what I have around me. And then I try and see as clearly as possible how I can help. So let's talk, let's share information, let's laugh and sometimes cry over the things that we have to work through in life and in music, in business and family and relationships. Come on into my Porter Flute pod. Welcome to Porter Flute Pod. This is season two. And I have to say, this show has been such a joy to create. I'm so grateful to the audience every week, and it's so great to see that every series we create within the podcast has its own following. We have a few hundred people in 13 countries who listened to 684 minutes of content 3,456 times. I want to thank my guests for being so generously receptive uh, to being on the podcast and to share their stories with you. And you have let the input from this show affect your artistry and practice. Some people have written and told me that some of the subjects we covered came back as a review and they were so glad to review the subjects. And others said that the newness of some of the concepts and hearing stories led to a successful change. You know, I, I wasn't previously a podcast listener, so I started small and I trusted in two people that were invested in this podcast's vision. This podcast began in 2006, just the idea with Alan J. Tomasetti. He just kept saying, you need to offer the stories from your life and advice. And so as I morphed from project to project to project, and I lived nine different lives, literally, all that living within many aspects of music led me here. All that content was in the creative oven. Plus, I, I don't think I was ready until now. The timer in my soul went off when I realized last April that I could feature lots of ideas to all of us while we're in solitude. You know, despair doesn't live where there's light. So I want to offer some kind of light in our flute life with stories and advice and music. In the podcast today with me is the ever inquisitive and loving AJ Tomasetti and the creative and just Justine Sedke. And without them, we wouldn't have this podcast. So I always say, if it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage. So they keep me putting things down on the page and putting it back up on the stage. They keep me answering all those relevant questions and covering topics that they know you want to hear with regularity. So welcome to the pod. It's almost like we're in a building. Did you know I want a building? It would all be Porter Productions. We'd have boutiques for accessories and skincare and a candle shop and a recording studio. And so I'm starting small, just no biz, no, no building yet. <laughs> okay. So let's review our season highlight with our very first pod from April to the end of September in 2020. 22 episodes with one of our episodes blacked out, uh, represented by a black square. We learned how to quiet the fear in our minds so we can produce results behind the screen and on stage. We had great advice from exceptional alumni, Elise Henry in the LA Phil, Kelly Zimba, Toronto Symphony, and Marie Tashue in the Chicago Lyric. We had my view of social media, and how to design your website. We discussed having physical, emotional, and mental spirit and upkeep of the spirit during the pandemic. We talked about burnout and we adopted and embraced healing hobbies. It's great to see that outdoor and indoor hobbies are now part of our lives because we have time for them. 
We met the undergrad and graduate students of the University of Michigan Flute Studio, and I thank them for representing the studio with such passion. Our special guests I want to thank are, of course, our producers who showed up on the show, Justine and AJ, and then Aaron Dworkin, Kaori Fujii, Joel Puckett, Cheryl Emerson, with some boost on E, Delany West, Larry Wiesman, Maria Castillo, Ann Stevens, Aaron Massick, Gareth McLaren, so many wonderful, wonderful thoughts from them. So what can you expect in season two? Well, in our performance therapy segment, I'll talk about how to learn from embarrassing moments. Yes, during a performance. You know, shame and forgiveness, they both come into play here. So we'll distill it down. And as they say these days, we'll unpack it. We'll discuss how to prepare for competitions. We'll be taking away fear from auxiliary instruments. You know, the piccolo, the alto flute, the bass flute. And our Etude series is back. We'll be recommending Etudes to help solve those tricky sections in the orchestral works and the sonatas and the concertos. Business 101, that's been helping you. So we'll discuss this season working with different kinds of managers. Did you know there's so many options out there for you as a performer? You also have to remember that that is a relationship and everything worth anything is a relationship, not a contract. Also within Business 101, I'll discuss personal and professional recording options with one of my engineers, Dave Shaw, and the person I entrusted to all my Porter Productions videos. I'll discuss turning your passion into profit, meaning how to make money from what you love doing. And we'll feature some global flute entrepreneurs and stories of their successes. Our popular Go Blue Flute series continues, so you'll be updated on what online learning is like at Michigan. We have current student and alumni news that you'll hear about, and we'll we'll be uh, a day in the life of a UMish Flute Studio member. That'll be fun. Our Stay Well, Play Well series continues. It returns with finding your intention and featuring my partner of two centuries and many lifetimes, Laura Dwyer. She's been my Anatomy of Sound workshop partner, and you can find out what we're offering for you there at our new website, aosworkshop.com. She'll cover how we can care for the spirit in the time of a pandemic and the importance of staying mentally sound and how to relax and rejuvenate yourself. Special guest this season I'm super excited about. I will meet up with beatboxing flutist Greg Patillo here on this podcast. And Greg is our guest in our very first Brevard Music Center flute seminar. Yes, we will be together in person this summer offering very different things. So check out that at brevardmusic.org. The deadline for that application is March 15th. Porter Flute Pod will welcome world-renowned Grammy-winning conductor Joanne Folletta in our friend cast. And not only is she also part of the Brevard Music Center faculty, but she was a DMA student at Juilliard when I was a freshman. It'll be great to join with her for a chat. Internationally acclaimed oboist Nancy Ambrose King has been such an inspiration to me as a professor. She's the professor of oboe at the University of Michigan and all around amazing human being. I had to invite her in for a candid look into our window in academia, being a woman in academia, and we'll share our joy for applied teaching and collaboration. And don't worry, I'll add more stories from my life in performance. We have great episodes planned for season two, and we want to hear from our listeners on what they want to hear. So if you have a suggestion for a topic that you want to hear on the podcast, contact me at amyporter.com slash contact. Thanks for your support. And I look forward to bringing you some great content, stories, thoughts, and at times we'll run the video camera for you. You can find my playlists on YouTube as Porter Flute, as well as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. As always, I'm grateful for you.